These caps are being presented to the Australian side there by the Prime Minister. Those caps were worn in 1901 for the first test match of the last millennium. It's uh, slightly different, but you'll get used to it, Mark. It's slightly different, all right. Yeah, they were made of a sort of a real felty sort of stuff as well, and they were really tight in our heads with a little short peak. I've looked back through a lot of photos, they actually look quite good. You know, that sitting in my study, still that, that cap up on the wall, and just a different variation of the baggy green. So anytime you get to look at one of those, or put one of those on your head, it's pretty special. Ricky Ponting comes in to replace his skipper, and he's facing the second new ball. Yeah, Justin and I had some terrific partnerships together, and the one thing that I'd like to be able to do again now is to go back and just do it, do it all over, just have one more time in a test match in the partnership batting with, or any of them, but certainly batting with Justin would have been a lot of fun again. Played that quite beautifully. He is a very good puller and hooker of the ball, Ricky Ponting. That's just gone at a rate of knots. Gave him plenty of room for the stroke. Ponting launched himself out of it with a brilliant shot. Joey's yeah, a bit shorter than me, I still call him my big brother, so <laughs> when we got an opportunity to bat together in the middle, we weren't going to let each other down. And that's what it was like, you know, you just didn't want to do the wrong thing and let your mate down. Into the last over, single was taken and uh, Ponting would have said something like, sorry about that, I want to see him get to his uh, double century as soon as possible. Langer's reaction was, don't worry about that, there's plenty of time, and there is. No need to worry about that one. It's in a similar spot, it's a double century for Justin Langer. And uh, he'll be pleased. His nearest and dearest to be very, very happy. Oh, well played, straight back down the ground. There it goes, it could go all the way, using his feet, getting to it, that's more than a magnificent century for Ricky Ponty. That test, do you remember how you sung the team song? It was jock straps and baggy greens only in the middle of the SCG, so I'm not sure how many people know that, but um, we found out the next morning, we didn't realise there were so many uh, security cameras in the grandstands, and <laughs> the cameras had caught us, so we didn't know about it. And we were always trying to find different things to do rather than just same old sort of routine in the change room, but the straps and caps might have been a step too far. Mm -hmm.